You have to think about it and you have to feel it in your guts. I believe from the bottom of my heart that it is vitally important for those of us who hold different views to be able to engage in a civil discourse. It is easy to go out and talk to people who agree with you, but it is harder, but not less important for us to try and communicate with those who do not agree with us on every issue. We live in the wealthiest country in the history of the world. We are living at a time where a handful of people have wealth beyond comprehension enough to support their families for thousands of years with huge yachts and jet planes and tens of billions of dollars more money than they would ever know what to do with but at that very same moment there are millions of people in our country let alone the rest of the world who are struggling to feed their families. They are struggling to put a roof over their heads. And some of them are sleeping out on the streets. They are struggling to find money in order to go to a doctor when they are sick. People should not be dying in the United States of America when they are sick. The poor wretched. They have a right to go to a doctor when they are sick. I agree with Pope Francis when he says, and I quote, we have created new idols, the worship of the ancient golden calf has returned in a new and ruthless guise in the idolatry of money and the dictatorship of an impersonal economy lacking a truly human purpose." End of quote. We are living in a nation and in a world which worships not love of brothers and sisters, not love of the poor and the sick, but worships the acquisition of money and great wealth. I do not believe that is the country we should be living in. There is no justice when so few have so much and so many have so little. Money and wealth should serve the people. The people should not have to serve money and wealth. Thank you all very much.